begin Parak Yud Ches on Nefesh Achayim. And what we learned until now, which is, you can't, can't do Parak Yud Ches unless you understand all the first 17 Prakim. Uh, and the, the, the key side is that um, from here in our, in our world, in our bodies, um, in our Nefesh, um, we have to be tied up to the Ruach, and then the Ruach to the Neshama, the Neshama to the Chaya, and then to the Yechida, and to the Kaddish Baruch Hu himself. Like, um, so there's there's a tie up. By Yipach, by Apa, of Nishmas Chaim, Hashem blew into our nostrils. This is the way it went. It went from, we know the technology of it, went from Hashem, by Yipach, by Apa, not straight, but it went through a process, it's a process, um, different stages of development from through the Neshama, through the Ruach, and through the nefesh. So we're here in the nefesh. And therefore, we learned in Parakid Zion that um, if somebody does an Avera and you want to do tshuva, so the, what, what you're really thinking about in terms of tshuva is not so much um, bettering yourself. You know, of course, you're bettering yourself. But this is not like a, a, you know, a self-help type of a thing or a self-improvement type of a thing. Shuvah is actually the realignment of the nefesh to the ruach, the ruach to the neshama. That's, that's actually a, a, a realignment, so stuff flows again. So uh, an avera, avera pushes things off alignment, and shuvah pushes things back on alignment. And that's what he's going to uh, continue on here, Perik Yitzchess. V'chol zeh, miroiv tuvay v'chastay hagadol, yisbarach shvay. This is all by the goodness of Hashem. Asher chafetz la'atzikenu lahetevach b'senu l'zayis hifli eitzah. Hashem wanted to for us to be very very connected. La'atzikenu lahetevach b'senu so that our achris so that the end I presume it means olav haba should work out well for us. L'zayis hifli eitzah and he has this Hashem has this great eitzah. So the, uh, because Hakadosh Baruch Hu wants to be connected to us, or more important, perhaps, He wants us to be connected to Him. So He created this pipeline, and every bechina, meaning bechina means nefesh, ruach, neshama, everything is connected to the bechina which is above it. And here he tells us a very interesting thing that this connection that we keep talking about, we talked about it a lot, this connection of me being, we need, I need to, um, what I want to do here in the few minutes that we have is understand what this actually means, not just mathematics and, and a diagram of how it works. I mean, that, that's important, but like, what does it actually mean? But one of the things that he says here is that the purpose of this pipeline of getting our nefesh to hook up with our ruach, our ruach to the neshama, is to connect to Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Iskasher mato to be able to connect from down to up, maat maat. So there's not an interesting um, point here that this is a process. It's a maat maat. Like like one might think, either you're connected or you're not connected. <laughs> like what's the? Uh, but apparently, it's not so simple. Apparently, maat maat. I don't mean just to say talk about like you know. Like the what the Balei Musr like to say, you have to go slowly. If you don't go slowly, you can fall. You know, uh, that's not what he's saying over here. That the actual process is, is what life is all about. Life is about making this connection. So it's not something like, okay, did it? I, I, I came. I learned some Nefesh I'm connected now. I've, I've decided to connect. It's a ma'at ma'at. This is a long process. It's, it's a it's a step by step process of being connected. So it comes out like very interesting. Tshuva is also a, a, a slow process. Uh-huh. There, there's a, there, there are many Gemaras where it talks about that Yachal Adam Liknois Elamai Basha Achas. Where it tells stories about Elazar ben Durdaya and Ketiyah Bar Shalom and, and different characters in history that. They did tshuva koina soilama. What does that mean, koina soilama? They did tshuva one second. They, they, they made a quick connection, and with that connection, they were tied up to la'oilamai, to his sherish anishama. That's what the Gemara means. Yachal adam liknais oilamai b'sha'achas. V'yesh adam shekoina oilamai b'har b'shana. So some people could do it quickly, and some people could do it over the course of a life. So the Gemara says, 
just as an example, the Gemara says that whenever one of these stories would come up about somebody who did shuva the last minute before they died. So it says, Rebbe Hayyabochim. Rebbe used to cry when he used to hear these stories. Rebbe Yudah Hanasi, well, I don't think he was a big crier. You know? <laughs> Rebbe Yudah Hanasi used to cry when he used to hear these stories. Pashat Shad is you learn that he cried. It's like a very deep, it's an emotional thing. Like, look how a person connected back to his source in, in, uh, on the last minute. The Marsha tells us that Rabbi HaYaboche, he was crying al chaval because the chaval is that if somebody's already going to connect up to his shirish, chaval that he didn't spend his whole life doing this, and it would have been a solid connection and a good connection and a real connection. So it's, that's, that was Rabbi HaYaboche. If somebody's disconnected, so nothing to cry about. But, but if a person's already connecting, why not connect ma'at ma'at? So the point is, the point I'm making is, the chiddush here is that we're talking about tshuva. So tshuva, um, you know, we think of tshuva. Did you make tshuva? You know, like the, 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 you think of tshuva as a, something you do. Did an avera do tshuva? Uh, tshuva is not as easy to do as the avera. Um, tshuva is a process, and it's a process. And you see, the Rambam is, you know, parak after parak after parak, uh, the process of getting realigned. You know, it's like if God forbid somebody has like some kind of an accident. So uh, that takes a minute. You want to do physical therapy and get get yourself back into shape? That takes five years. <laughs> it's a, it's a uh, it's getting getting back on, aligned literally, literally, getting back aligned spiritually is a big it's a big process. And if you, if you don't do it mat mat, you didn't do it in a way. You can connect, but that's that's the chiddush here. If you arrive, iskay batayra va'avoda yisvara shva. It takes a lot of davening, takes a lot of learning. Mataris libai va'avasa yisvara. Your Shemaim, Abbas Hashem, those are all tools to reconnect. But you're not yet, a person has Abbas Hashem, you're not yet reconnected. It's a tool to reconnect. Until you get back to the source of life, and that's how you get back up to your Sherish. So, um, something that we've said a lot, but we didn't say completely. We've said this a lot in the previous program that this alignment is a form of tshuva and it's a it's a life work it's a life work it's not a it's not a thing you do it's 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 a life work see i I always wonder about this uh just agav that um in the olden days when i say the olden days i mean like the time of the chasam seifer the time of rabbi kiveger the time of the night of yehuda so you have a lot of tshuvas if you read the uh um, Responsible mm-hmm. literature. There's a lot of chuvas about people that were nichshal in a certain avera, and they came to the to the rav. Talk about you know, look Fisher up on him, Polish up on him, you know, the Hungarian. Rav. They came and they said, "How do I how do I make chuva for this?" Right? Uh, I I couldn't hold myself back. I made an espresso shot this morning. <laughs> right? I, I don't know where my head was. I just did it. I couldn't hold myself back. I had a cigarette on shop. I couldn't have, hold myself back. I, I had relations with my wife, who's Anita. So in, in the in the uh, chuvas, they they give very very specific, um, uh, uh, very specific programs as to how to do chuva. I don't know if you've ever seen this literature. Like there's there's a lot of, you know, you you must give a lot of tzedakah. You have to roll in the snow. You have to. Um, you know, be parish from your isha for, for a year. There are all kinds of things of how to do tshuva, which is fascinating to me because, um, like, what, what are they what are they explaining? What they're explaining is how do you, how do, it's like going to a, a, a therapist of some sort, and the, or let's say even a physical therapist or even like a chiropractor to, to see how do you get realigned? You know, how do you like you, okay you broke off a connection? How do you get realigned? I I. I um, I noticed that um, this is not the minhag anymore. Uh, although people come and ask, "How do I do tshuva for this?" Um, the, the I, I heard once, or maybe I saw a sefer. I heard once that we don't do this anymore. <laughs> we don't do it anymore. I'm sure why we don't do it anymore, but uh, maybe I don't know. But um, yeah, now do you do right? Yeah, I saw one tshuva there. He says we don't do it, but he, in this specific case, he gave some. Anyway. Right, there's a truth about somebody who had a, With his mother, a yeah, yeah, an affair. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but we don't do it. I don't know. Like, I don't, like it always. It's always. You went to see this, Rabbi. We went to see this. They have more directive, specific. I feel like, I don't know. They say we mean we within like our. I don't think I don't think they have what they. I don't think like there's there's all sparring truths about 
different shoes that you have to do. It's hard to, it's hard to, I, I mean, I, I can tell you a simple reason I don't do it anymore, because um, let's say somebody would ask me, I'm a rabbi, right? so they would ask me, how do I do tshuva for this fact? I, mean, I don't really know. <laughs> That's, I mean, the, the real answer is, I could tell you go through the Rambam and say Vidui and, and, and Kabbalah Los and Charat Alavar. I don't really know like the specifics. I mean, you really need to know. So maybe just nobody knows. Maybe nobody says. I don't, I don't know. But the, the the thing of it is that what they were doing, what, whether we do it or not, is a sociological question, I guess. But w what they were doing was um, get, creating a process of putting the person back on track. That's that's what was going on. Back on track. That completely changes the whole paradigm of Shuvat's Fila and Saka. It's not so much a thing anymore when you look at it from a Rosh Hashanah point of view. It's Fila, maybe it's simpler, but Saka, you can understand that now Shuvat is like a whole paradigm. Yeah, Shuvat is a different story. Yeah. And, and you see, Fila and Saka are different tools to use, different things that you take out to, to connect. But to, to Shuvat, like, uh, it's. it's <laughs> Right, so tshuva is ma'at ma'at. It's not a... So you can do it in a minute. Apparently you can create some kind, you can force some kind of a... Um, maybe this is a difference, like, I'm not, I don't know what I'm talking about, but maybe there's a difference between, like, physical therapist and a chiropractor. <laughs> you know, like, it takes a physical therapist, to, you know, uh, six weeks to do what a chiropractor can do in a minute. So, so um, just to just put everything back, realign, but... Huh? Just well, none of them are in the room to be Michael. <laughs> Physical therapist or chiropractor? <laughs> so I can say whatever I want, but um, I'm thinking one is probably um, more like training the body of how to. The one's more mat mat. Uh, whether I'm right or not, I don't, I don't know. But I, I, uh, I know I know chiropractors help me, but I don't know. Like, it's it's kind of like um, invasive. But anyways. Um, that's that's one you say that the par that the paradigm, as you say, of tshuva, is 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 a realignment, which is a process. That's the first thing. Then the question is, what's the process? Let's go a little further. Zois because we're not we've only so far scratched the surface. Zois vodacheres. Furthermore, kiesh kama avoyno yishan nefesh hachutes ba'achas meheno nischayva kores oyavadu in chasushal. I feel good because on Thursday I gave a whole share about yidit. Hashem, and you did nefesh, and that was like very positive. So now <laughs> we're talking about kares, um, but it's also positive if you think about it. There are avoyna shan nefesh hachotes ba'achas ein nischayv kares. Person sometimes, God forbid, does an avera and nischayv kares ba'al eshazish, right? Nischayv kares. Oy avadoin chasusham, or he gets lost. These are two different things. Kares by avadoin. There's a difference. What is kares? In you not karesu. And I've explained this outside, but here we have it inside. Shebechinas hanefesh kares. Kares means cut off. That's what kares means, cut off. The cut off punishment. So what's getting cut from what? What's the kares? So shebechinas hanefesh nifsak v'nichras misharsha elyon. The pshat is that everything's all lined up. My nefesh, my ruach, my neshama, all beautiful. And kares is, so you, so you imagine like a source of oxygen. Here's the pipe. Everything's working perfectly, except that it's... Boom, <laughs> it's off to the side. <laughs> so what, what, when a person does an Avera that does, that's high kares, you've unplugged, you've, un, you've detached the, the source of life from the nefesh, which is the life as we know it. So um, that's what kares is. Kares is like you're moving the pipe or you're cutting the pipe. Even worse, you're cutting the pipe. So if you cut the pipe, so obviously you're not getting the ox oxygen. So how do you continue living? In such a case, so um, the answer is because there's another source, like emergency supply of life called sitrachra and tuma. Those things also give life. They also give life, um, but it's very unhealthy life, and it's very uh, it's tummy. The, the, the life from the sitrachra makes one tummy. But the, the, the for a person who's spiritually sensitive can understand that um, you could be like. Um, Rishoyim b'chayeim nikroyim mason. You can be alive, but you, you feel like you're dead. A person, you know, like the Walking Dead. 
but you know you're you could be alive but you're not you're not hooked up to the source of life which is Hakadosh Baruch Hu, and in a different place. See, he's talking about cars, which is pretty extreme. But let me let me give a very simple example, just because uh, probably we're not high of cars, but um, but it was actually a high of cars. It's just like something you do. It's almost like a self-inflicted. You know, it's like the bungee jumper. <laughs> like you know, I'm going to be macho. I don't need a rope. <laughs> you know, just just cuts it off. Like it's it's um, and now you're on your own. The nefesh is on its own, so you know what happens to that nefesh. But I, I just think of what I think is a, a very practical example of this. There's no gay everybody. Like we, we all know, um, for instance, that um, that we have to do chesed. Everybody knows you're supposed to do chesed. It means I'm supposed to give up myself to other people. We also all know that everybody's different. So you know, if you can only give chesed to somebody who's just like you, that's not chesed. Chesed is to give somebody. Was a little bit. We're all different. We're all a little bit different. So, um, you know, when you look when you look around you, you look at the people that you're surrounded with. To my mind, um, and they need something. So you got to you 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 got to wonder what your reaction is. If your reaction is they need something, I want to try to help them. So that's chesed. Everything's hooked up. But what if there's a neat hook between what I know in my brain? that I'm supposed to do chesed and that comes from even a higher source of the ruach and the neshama and this person who's in need whether it's a person diving next to you and children knocking on the door whatever whatever it might be what what's the, when there's a need to what happens is instead of chesed what happens is now all of a sudden the guy gets on my nerves because he's different than me I mean, he makes me nervous he makes me angry um, so all of a sudden a person finds himself nervous and because so that means that in my in my understanding, that means that you're not hooked up to the source of life itself. You might know something, so you have a idea, big deal. You know something. I, I've met people that can darshan about health and talk about all kinds of healthy things. This is healthy. This is unhealthy, and they're mamish like so unhealthy. <laughs> their, their whole lifestyle is so unhealthy. They, they somehow or another they become like a bucky. And uh, why? Because they've been hearing these rushes since they're a little kid. Don't eat this. Exercise. Don't do any of it. So they have it in their minds, but but it doesn't doesn't somehow permeate their their body. So like if you have chesed in your in in your in your mind, even in your heart. But when it comes to doing it, it's getting on my nerves. It's making me angry. It's uh, the fact that you're, you're different than me. Why are you acting like that? Why are you walking like that? Why? So that means there's a nituk. There's a nituk, um, and that nituk needs bedika. Uh, um, I, I, my Rebbe Zatzal used to always say that you know if a person finds himself talking lashon hara a lot, it's not about like you know learn the halachas of lashon hara. Yes, of course you have to know what's lashon hara, what's not lashon hara. But there's something wrong with a person who's talking Lashon Hara all the time. There's something wrong. There's something either spiritually wrong or psychologically wrong with a person who's always talking Lashon Hara. It's not normal. It's not normal to have to constantly denigrate another person. There's something, some kind of, uh, of an insecurity in themselves, some type of, a, let's call it a, a need to, a short, right? A short. Something is not getting all the way into my yodayim, into my pet, into my mice. The second, the second shar of Shira uh, Selashim, the Chafas Haim, in a certain character, it cites seven different like, psychological causes of the versus Selashim Mara. Yes. I remember one of those guys, but there's, there's even like a notary from I don't know what it is, but. Yeah, I, I saw. You get to control these seven things. You're, you're it doesn't. Then you know, it's not about. It's not about stopping it here. It's not about stopping it as it's coming out of the source. Right, right. It's not, it's 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 figuring out. So it, it, I think I think that what I'm saying is I think that the relevance of what we're learning here is not so much about kares. It's about um, looking for the shorts. <laughs> looking for the shorts. Like what is causing me to do this. What is causing it? And it's particularly easy to see, I believe, easier to see in, in the Ben Elm I think it's, it's um, those, those, are good, those are good markers for whether I'm hooked up to my Neshama or not. And I'm starting with a, with a simple premise that we all know what's right. Mm. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not like we don't know what's right. We all know what's right. We all know we're supposed to be nice to people and do chesed and forgive and another person, you know. But you know, sometimes people have such a hard time giving. You ever notice it? Like such a difficult time giving a compliment to another person. Like Maza, 
why is this so difficult? Like, we're, we're worried they're going to become a ball guy that's going to go to their head. Like, all of a sudden, we're the altar of Slavotka. <laughs> yeah, yeah, worry. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're going to become a ball guy, but why don't we worry about everything else with them? We worry about the ball guy. But it, it, it's something psychologically wrong. So I was saying that, that these um, these shorts, Lani Daiti, are a simon of the of, of, of the Nito. But but that's 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 point one, simple point. Yeah. Well, the name described is, is can maybe be attributed to a, a need between mind and heart. Uh -huh. mm. uh, so where, where does the Kodesh Baruch fit into that? It's, it's, the thing is like this, that you got to be deeper. It's all it's all mm. one line. So it goes from your Yodayim to your heart, to your mind, to the Ruach, to the Neshama. So the, the Nitu can be here, maybe easier to deal with. Go see a psychologist, the Nitu is here. Um, talk to talk to kids. Um, I'm not a psychologist, but talk, talk to kids a lot, you know, the, the, just recently talking, uh, not for the first time, but just recently talking to a kid who's got this problem that they're they're cutting themselves a lot, uh, which is a very, um, you know, for people our age, it's, it's so bizarre, <laughs> bizarre and unusual. And you know, uh, I, you know, I hate taking a blood test. What are you doing this voluntarily? <laughs> you just like it doesn't, you know. And, and the kids all say, no, it's you know, they get this like glow on their face. You know, like it's almost like. No, like you know, you feel, feel, feel. So it's a, it's you know, it's hard. It's hard. Honestly, it's hard for me to relate to it. But but um, I can understand that. In other words, you can get to a point where you get so cut off, where you feel, you know, like dead, unless you're feeling something. <laughs> but that's what talks about yes, Akasha, how a gear could be makabel mitzvahs, a goy. He says basically, <coughs> it's like yeah, the gita be other, the gita be other man bachas. But the the result seems to be that the capacity to self transcend is only by a yid. So maybe the nitok, when you can't do the chesed, the nitok is that you can't transcend your your animal nature. Right. Or uh, yeah. And you need so that. By the, by the way, like you know, I'm not I'm not a big uh, musser guy. I'm just not my doesn't uh, talk to me, but this is where the Musser works. Mm -hmm. I feel like the, the Musser works um, when you're getting from Nefesh to Ruach. You know, uh, um, I think that um, Nefesh, Hachai, you know, the, the, the next level is trying to deal with things where it depends where the disconnect is. You need to locate the, uh, the disconnect to know how to, how, to, how to repair it. And sometimes it requires something very, very special. But I think what I'm saying is that we're so, you know, we talk about the Tshuva who's the nature of tshuva has changed. You know? Like tshuva is out of style in that sense. Uh, it, it's, it's even more, you know, od v'yoser. Like the people come to, uh, uh, you know, uh, Talmud Chacham and they say, you know, oh, I did this in the Savera, What should I do? You know, get past it. Just <laughs> don't don't dwell on it. It's just you. So that's what you hear a lot. You know, um, Rav Nachman, mm, Rav Nachman, Adarab. <laughs> but. Um, it's interesting. Times have changed. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure times have changed. But nothing. What hasn't changed is this, this, the pipeline that's going up. Let me let me just say another yisoid, and then I think it'll make it easier to learn further. Two yisoids that I want to say that, that because it gets very um, complicated and kabbalistic. So I just want to um, say simple things. Number one is all about the kasher. Number two, um, kares is an extreme example, and there are many kinds of kares. Kare is um, an example of like literally cutting the cord. That's that's uh, whether it's the oxygen cord or the bungee cord or whatever cord it is that's keeping me alive. Kare means you're cutting the cord. But the Nefshek Haim, I think in Parakhov, to, to prop him away, um, he, he explains very clearly that that's like Kare Skares, but every Avera is a little bit of Kare. Important is every time um, somebody does an Avera, this is some this is some some part of detachment which is there, so um, and therefore it's it's harder to connect. Like smoking a cigarette, two capillaries just got hit. You don't feel a thing. You don't feel anything. Tomorrow another eight. The next one may. Next no. So yeah. Yeah. You know, you know I, I think just you talk about um, smoking cigarettes, I don't, I don't want to talk about smoking cigarettes, but I, I'm thinking like 
last couple of years, you know, I'm a learner, you know, so the last couple of years, so um, I, I started to learn more about health. I'm just saying this only as a muscle. And um, I'm, not, I'm not particularly into like, you know, all kinds of uh, natural healing things, be mostly because the practitioners are you very often don't know what they're talking about. Right? Yeah, they're just, that's not, not because I'm against it, just, uh, you know, because if they're hate, if you know how to do it, do it. But, uh, uh, but, but what, I, what I have become a big, uh, just as a bushel, again, I'm not going to talk about health here, but I'm just giving you a bushel. What I have become a big chassid of is functional medicine. So, so functional medicine, um, in other words, you go to a doctor and you have a headache, so they'll give you a Tylenol, and the Tylenol is like, away your headache. And a functional uh, medical practitioner will ask, well, I wonder why you're getting these headaches. You know, just a very simple question, which not all doctors are trained to do. So it's this. This is called functional medicine. Is oh, well, maybe let's talk, let's look at your thyroid. You know, let's look at your pancreas. Let's look at what's going on. Um, and and you know, and it's 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 so fascinating, and it such makes so much more sense to anybody who's used to learning Torah to, to, to try to figure out again, not to be confused with like just natural. You know, uh, 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 natural is that. What's what's the point? Natural. The, the the thing is like is instead of treating the symptom, to try to get to the to the cause. Of it, and holistic everything has a cause. What? It's holistic, but it's it's um, and functional in the sense that that really a big bucky in biology, or in uh, food science, um, and and be able to understand, or even climate environment, be able to understand how everything affects your body and why this and this is happening. It's by the way, it's a it's a much more difficult way of getting rid of your headache. <laughs> And, and very often the answer is, well, take a Tylenol the meantime until you figure this out, because this could take ma'at ma'at. This could take many, many years till you really get to the to the point of connection. But but the thing is that what you really want to do is is I mean I would think logic says what you really want to do is be healthy, not figure out how to get rid of the symptom. Probably everybody agrees with that. That 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 that's really the right way to do it if you can do it, or if you're not too old, or whatever. You know, sometimes you just can't get it back, so you deal with the symptoms. So you have arthritis, and you're this hurts, and that hurts, and blah blah blah. You know, like so you could you could do things to take away the pain, but even surgery is taking away the pain, but the pain, but it's not necessarily getting to the source of the thing. And it's the same thing in in the world of Ruchni. It's like you can you got you got to be careful because you can. Like sometimes with with just musr, you'll you'll fix certain um, behaviors, but is it is it real? You know, I just is it real? And if so, who cares? Maybe I don't know. But if it's not real, does it is not lasting? Hmm? It's not lasting. Anymore. It's not lasting, and it's not even uh, you know. I I I I, I remember somebody who um, used to like always be like very. You know, the, the Vishnu says you should be Makabalas, Kaladam, Sever Panam Yafis, right? You should greet everybody with happiness, with a smile, Sever Panam Yafis, you know? And uh, I, I knew somebody that was really not good at that. <laughs> like, like uh, it just wasn't, you know, like, you, you better be like, what did I do to you? Like, you know, what did you wrong? <laughs> like, so, um, so, uh, it, it, he told me that, that he, um, he was, he was omen on this, or somebody mentioned it to him, you know, and like, he's always looking angry. Um, so he's like he's worked on this thing and talking like you know like he greeted everybody with this huge smile you know you know oh oh shell nice beautiful sever upon me off face right what's it like you can you can do uh, but I noticed because I just happen to be like super sensitive that you know big smile and then turns around <laughs> it's gone you know so if the guy um, you know if you're watching him for that extra three seconds you're in trouble <laughs> it's it's um, is it fake I guess <laughs> Is it good? It's probably good. Better than no smile at all. Take it till you become it. Hmm? Take it till you become it. Yeah, yeah. So that's, it's, it's, but become it. That's the, that's the point I'm making. I, I, I was told uh, my Rebbe that I'm having a hard time learning all day, that all day, all night, you know, 14 hours a day. It's very hard for me at, at some times. He said, fake it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I hear, I hear that, you know, like, but, but, you know, like, you gotta, I think it's fake until you become it, like, it's gotta go at least another three, four seconds, this, the smile, it's like, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, you know what I'm saying, like, it's, it's, it's not, it's not fun, it's not functional, it's not, it's not real, it's not coming from the inside, so, I mean, the one, the one point I wanted to bring out here, um, this will be our introduction to the next couple of shiurim, is that, um, every Avera is kares. The uh, Nefeshachim said every Avera has some aspect of disconnection to it. It's not like, um, okay, um, you know, somebody's Chassashon Baal Ha'erva, 
Hive cars, that's like a big one. That's a huge disconnection. It's like getting hit by a car, you know. But but every every Aveira, every time you smoke a cigarette, as you say, there's a there's a car race involved, but it's gradual and you don't feel it and it's not right. That's that's number one. The second thing we need to understand is which he's going to say in the next paragraph, but I want to speak it out, is that the the way to look at this pipe is not as a pipe at all. Um, the, the way to look at this is there's different levels of connectivity. And this very much relates to what we're saying or your muscle of the, of the uh, smoking or the capillaries. It, that, like, if you, um, I, I've explained this many times, that um, Klai Yisrael and Mitzrayim um, went down to the 49th level, of Memtesh Shari Tumah, 49th level of Tumah. There's only 50, mm -hmm. uh, so it's pretty bad. Um, and on this we say, um, in the Haggadah, that um, Baruch HaMakayim, thank God, Kaddish Baruch Hu Chishev HaKetz. Kaddish Baruch knew exactly when to take us out of Mitzrayim. See the Mepharshim, the Abarvin, all others, they say, what does it mean he knew exactly when to take us out of Mitzrayim? That he got us right before we fell into the Shar Hanun, we were at the Shar Memtes, he hopped it just in time, and therefore um, he was able to save us, he was able to emancipate us and make he see us Mitzrayim. So I um, always ask a question, like, what's the big mile of this? Uh, you know, you save us when we start to descend, like when we first came to Mitzrayim. Save us, take us out of Mitzrayim, take us to Eretz Yisrael. What's the point of, you know, it's like a lifeguard, you know, like uh, the girl is drowning. It's got another couple of minutes. <laughs> so it doesn't, it doesn't, um, doesn't work. Oh, another minute. It's fine. I'll save her. Don't worry. I'll save her. Get her at the Shar Hanun. You know, uh, I'll get her at the Shar Hanun. So uh, I believe the, the Abarbanel explains that um, the way to understand it is, he says this, this, the following, that um, whatever we went through in Mitzrayim in terms of, in terms of going down Madregas, um, so that's where we're going to be able to get up to. Meaning, no matter what we go through in life as a people, inquisitions, holocaust, even, even assimilation, even intermarriage, we, we, can, we can get back <coughs> Why? Because we are trained, we are exercised in going down 49 Sharm of Tuma, and therefore um, we can get back up. 50th, that's a Nituk Lagamri, that's complete chorus. These pathways we created. That's right, course. we created the pathway. So let me, let me just even say better than that, that um, I think we need to um, stop looking at it as 49 Sharm of Tuma, they're you know, descending down and down and down to the Grand Canyon. I don't, I don't think that's that's the shot. The shot is think of it think of it better as um, sort of an electrical wire, an American electrical wire that has, for argument's sake, 50 strands. So the the, the electricity that's connecting the appliance to the to the um, source of electricity is a copper wire with many many strands. So here's Shmuel. You know, you cut off one strand. What happens? Yeah. Nothing. You don't know. Who knows? You know, you can you can buy wires a little thinner, nothing. No, 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 not the coat. No, no, no. Go thinner. You go thinner. You go thinner. How thin can you go? So the answer is every one of those strands is is um, changing the integrity of your resistance, and it's getting a little bit too hot. You might not be you not be able to feel it. It's not working correctly. But when you get down to the final strand, uh, Nagid. The light might be going, but it's flickering and it's hot and it's not going to last and the wire's going to burn out and it's, it's just not going to happen. It's going to blow. This is going to blow and, you're, and, and you get a fire. So um, when, you st when you think about the Memtes Shari Tuma, think about it as the Memtes or the Nun Shari Kedusha. So the Nun Shari Kedusha are 50, 50 strands of connectivity that we have with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So when you go from Nefesh to Ruach to Neshama, think of it not as a, um, even though he talks about it as a windpipe, but I just want to sophisticate this a little. Think about levels of connectivity. So level of connectivity, now a person um, um, does, does an Avera, a little, a little Avera. So you do a, a little Avera, boom, you know, you did, you did um, you know, you, you carried in the Avera, you know, boom, like uh, uh, one, one strand down, two strands down. The, the, the wholesomeness and the holiness of a person is if you're hooked up on all strands and tshuva is repairing those strands. So it's another, it's like, like a new metaphor but a new visual as to how, to how to look at it. So when Klai Yisrael was in Mitzrayim, they were down to the final strand. 
If that would have been cut, Hashem would have had to recreate the Jewish people because that, that's a whole new thing. But we were still continuing. By the way, what was that strand? What, what was the strand? That we didn't change our clothes. We, can't, we dress like Jews. We talk like Jews. Uh, to Jewish names. Very, very superficial. Very, very external. Um, very, very unimportant. You know, that's the, that's the final strand. Bagels and locks. <laughs> Bagels and locks. That's the final strand. Or, I, I mean, to, to be cynical, or a hat. Um, <laughs> it could be a final strand also. These are all things that you could put on a monkey. You know, it, it doesn't say anything about the neshama. If it's coming from the neshama, yeah, fair. But if it's just, just throw a hat on somebody or even sits us, it doesn't, it, it, those are all very, very external things. So that was the final stand. But it's a strand. It is a strand. Like that, that, uh, that locks and bagels, as I grew up with, <laughs> the, the icker of the locks, that, that, that locks and bagels, um, you know, there is something um, Jewish about it. Like we could make fun of it, but there is something Jewish about it. You know, uh, it's, it's, um, you know, it's even a term, you know, to bagel somebody is to, you know, uh, to, to bagel somebody is when somebody sees you or from Jew at the gas station and he says, um, Oh, I had some great kishka last night. <laughs> like, what, what is that all about? He's trying to tell you, like, you know, I'm a brother, I'm Jewish, uh, help me do tshuva. That's what he's trying to tell you. So <laughs> that's the, that's the, uh, the term. We find it, find it less here in Israel, unfortunately, than you even feel find it in, in, in the Chutzlar, which is a pella. But what, what the, the thing of it is, it's all that, that, that kishka or that, you know, uh, but that's that's all that last strand. So the difference between our connection and and the wires is that um, you know, we're organic. Like it can heal. Those wires are not going to heal, and you can get from one strand to two strands to ten strands to twenty strands. So when you talk about um, car race, so so like the, the ultimate car race, and that's why it's two, two things: car race, father, and nefesh. The ultimate car race is just cut. Like I just cut the wire, I have no connection at all. Um, that's that's a difficult situation. You can still do tshuva, apparently, but it's hard, hard to do tshuva. The, 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 but every time a person does an avera, you're cutting a strand. You're cutting a strand. It's just like in a relationship, you're cutting a strand. There are strands to a relationship. It's not an all or nothing. And and the the, the goal of connect of, of of alignment. So I'm changing now from alignment to connectivity. The 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 goal of is to is to get the flow. Going and as I said, I just want to repeat this one last thing that this this can be monitored a lot with my reactions to challenging Ben Al Mulchaveroi situations because if I, if 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 I'm always getting nervous, a person always talking less than hard, a person is losing their temper, a person is doing all the things that we know we're not this is not correct to do. Even something more subtle like you know we find ourselves punishing other people and uh, you know. Uh, not talking to them or arrogance. All of these things is a, is a sign that there's something wrong with the strands. There's something like I need a, I need a, I need to get re, uh, <laughs> realigned and, and and rehook up. And then a healthy person, you know, gedolim and tzaddikim, they don't do that. They don't do that. They, they, I mean, real tzaddikim, they 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 have their challenges too, but they're they're wholesome. The the wholesomeness is that from the neshama is coming to the ruach, ruach's coming, nefesh, and there's a certain adinut. There's a certain edelkite. I think that's what we need to to strive for, like a certain fine kite, which is which is there, and and that's really you can fix the fine kite, but you really got to functionally fix all the way up to the top, and then we'll get into the, uh, the zayar, which he's bringing in the in the haga. Sure. Um,